Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you, my friends? It's time to start the class. I can see Luz Garcia, Maria de los Angeles, Edith Lorena, Christian Daniel, eh, Veronica Maricela, Damaris Leticia, Jancy, Mauricio Alberto, Roxana, Miguel Antonio, Consuela. Okay. So let's see in here. Okay, thank you because you have written your complete name. Very good. That's okay. Okay. Let me check here. Here. Okay, my friends, uh, do you remember yesterday's class? What did we do yesterday? What did we study yesterday? An idea? In conversation in feel homesick. Ah, okay, very um, good. Uh, Grammar focus in uh -huh. uh, la fórmula eh, para las respuestas negativas y positivas cuando nos sentimos eh, mal o depende cómo nos sentimos bien. Okay, very good. Thank you, Edith. Yes, thank you. Yes, we were talking about health problems. Okay, health problems. Today we are going to continue practicing that. And uh, let's see, the next exercise. And is here. I'm gonna share the screen with you. And here says that, that we are going to talk about a um, common medications for health problems. Okay, some common medications. And uh, so by here we are in this part of your book. So please go to the page. Let me see. That is on your on the page. In your book. Page 12. Page 80 says. Okay, medications. Okay, in this section we are going to listen and then we are going to practice. Let's, let's see here. Illness. After you finish this activity, share. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid, muscle cream, aspirin, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take 
give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, Muscle cream, question, aspirin, eye drops. I take aspirin. Whenever I, I have a headache, whenever I have a headache, so we're going to practice here. Whenever, whenever, whenever I have a headache, I take, so I have it here in the chat. Whenever I have a headache, I take, and now let's see the book. Whenever I have a headache, is this one? <clears throat> so in here, whenever I have a backache, I take. Whenever I have an headache, I take. Whenever I have a headache, I take. Whenever I have a stomachache, I take. We're gonna write it here in the whiteboard. Okay, whenever is this one? Again okay, here. So we are going to write. What's the question? What's the sentence? Whenever I have a backache, I take and you write here. Whenever I have the flu, I take, and you mentioned what medication you take. Whenever I have uh, a stomachache, I take. Okay, so, and what's the medication? I'm going to bring you the medication. Let me see the medication. Just a moment. Just give me a second. I'm going to post here the medication that we have. Just a moment. Maybe I'm gonna leave it here like this. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna write. You have to write two sentences using this structure. Whenever I have a backache, okay? Whenever I have a backache, I take, let me see, muscle cream, or I put, in this case, I put, I put, I put some muscle cream. Okay, the next one, number two. Whenever I have the flu, I take what? Whenever I have the flu, I take what medication can you take when you have the flu? Cold, please. Okay, okay. Whenever I have the flu, 
So give me the complete sentence. Whenever I have the flu, I have the flu, I take uh, gold pills. Ah, okay. Cold pills. Okay, very cold good. Cold pills. Okay, very good. Now, whenever I have a stomachache, I take some antacid. This one. Okay. Whenever I have a stomachache, I take some antacid. Okay. Now, basically... Antacid. Hmm? Tell me. Whenever I have a um, stomachache, I take antacid. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Okay, so please write your sentences here in the chat of this Zoom class. Write your sentences. Whenever I have an, write the medication that you use when you are in that situation. Go ahead, please. Two sentences. Solo las que están ahí, teacher. Ah, you can write additional. No, no, no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are just some examples. Can be these ones or different, no problem. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello. Podría ser whenever I have a fever. Mm -hmm. uh, I take Mm, acetaminofen, no sé si se dice por ser nombre propio. I take igual? some. Ah, you can say acetaminofen, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. Or I take some, how do you call those kind of medicines? Que son calmantes, ¿cómo se llama en español? Antibiótico. No, antibiotic no. no. Porque acetaminofen is not an antibiotic. Como calmante, something like that. Pero en, se me ha ido el nombre, la verdad. Ok. Calmante. I'm going to check it in this moment. No se llama calmante, se me otra manera. Let me see. Mm. I have here the, the answer. It says, whenever I, for example, I'm going to write here for the headache. I know how. Whenever I have a headache, how do you spell headache? Headache, how do you spell that? Dolor de cabeza. How do you spell headache? H E A D A C H E. Whenever I have a headache, I take some pain. Here it says relief. Pain relief. Mm -hmm. Pain relief. Oh, pain relief. Yes, pain relief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like calmante. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because la acetaminofen no, no le quita en sí el, la enfermedad, lo, lo calma, right? Mm -hmm. Some pain relief. Okay. Did you write the sentences in the chat? No? Yes? Yes. Okay. I am going to check. I am going to check in this moment. ¿Cómo se escribe calmante entonces, teacher? Here, pain relief. Like this. Pain. Oops. Can you see the picture? Ajá, uh -huh. permítanme. Uh -huh. Estamos escribiendo la pregunta. Uh -huh. Pain. I take some pain relief. Pain relief. Pain relief. Uh -huh. Ese sería relajante. O oh, calmante. Ah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to take your sentences. Let me see. Okay. Everybody has written very good. Lenin, teacher solo podrá estar. Okay. It is raining. Okay, Lenin. That's okay. Try to open the camera, Lenin. And it says, Maria de los Angeles, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Very good. Um, Catherine, buenas noches, teacher. Okay. She's commuting to work. Okay, that's okay. Luz Margel, whenever I have a cough, I take a cough syrup. Okay, very good. Maria de los Angeles, whenever I have a cold, I take an aspirin. An, an aspirin. And uh, Edith, whenever I have, I have a headache, I take a Tylenol. Yes, a Tylenol. Whenever I have a, whenever I have the flu, I take a cold. I take a, I take a. Um, maybe Edith, can you write again the sentences because they are like. I don't get the idea. Try to write one sentence, Edith, please again. It says, Luz Margel, whenever I have a backache, I have a muscle cream, okay? I have, okay, or I put, I put some muscle cream. Veronica, whenever I have the flu, I take Tapsin. Yes, okay. Tapsin anti, ¿cómo se llama la que venden? Tapsin anti. Antigripal. Antigripal, right? Whenever I have the cold, I take cough drops. Carlos, whenever I have, I have, ah, whenever I have a headache, whenever I have a headache, I take Tylenol. Whenever I have a fever, I take some acetaminophen. Yes, very good. If it's whenever I have a fever, I take an acetaminophen. Very good. Roxana, whenever I have sore eyes, I take eye drops. Very good. Christian, whenever I have a headache, I take an aspirin, an aspirin. Whenever I have a flu, I take acetaminophen, an acetaminophen, an. Whenever I have a cold, I drink tea. Yes, that is very good. Whenever I have a cold, I take a middle grip. Okay. And whenever I have a cold, I take cough drops. Whenever I have a fever, I take an acetaminophen. Okay. Whenever I have a fever, I take some Tylophen. <laughs> really, it is Tylophen or Tylenol. Okay. Okay. So now, can you please open your cameras, everybody? I am going to take the attendance list. Please open your camera. And this is the group from 8 to 9 p.m. Teacher, I'm having problems with my camera. Sí. Who is talking? Jorge, Jorge. Jorge, 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 ¿dónde está? Jorge, your last name, Jorge. Jorge Eric. Jorge, okay, Jorge Eric, that's okay, no problem. Okay. Okay, the rest, please open your cameras. Okay, so now let me see the attendance, please, right? So, Araceli Esmeralda Lopez Garcia, say present. No. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Then we have uh, Carlos Arturo Olmedo Magaña. Present. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario Alemán Gómez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Cristian Daniel Alvarado Briseño. Present. Okay, Damaris Leticia Garcia Torres. Present. Very good. Edith Lorena Herrera Vázquez. Present. Okay, thank you. Fatima Yesenia Araujo Medina. Fatima? No. Eh, Fernando de Jesús Morales Enríquez? No. Iris Arely Torres Guzmán? Si tienen uh, problemas present. con mi. Okay, good. Si tienen problemas con el micrófono, en el chat pueden escribir. Just give me a second.
Eh, Joaquín Jesús Galán. Present teacher. ¿Sí? Ok. Thank you. Jorge Eric Ramírez Ramos. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Ok, veamos Juan Antonio Villatoro Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Susana Galea Sargueta. No. Katherine Rebeca Rosales Quintanilla. No, Katherine. Eh, Lenin Monterrosa Delgado. No, Lenin. Katherine acaba de decir que está presente a través del chat. Ay, thank you. Katherine Rebeca, thank you. Luz Marguel García Reyes. Present. Thank you. María de los Ángeles Jiménez Morales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Alberto Jiménez Majano. No. And uh, Miguel Antonio Abrego Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. So, Naomi Nicole de las Asensio. No. Oscar Esaú Mesa Leiva. Present, present, teacher. Thank you. Roxana Guadalupe Duarte García. Present. Ok. Sandra Margarita Martínez Castellanos. No. Verónica Maricela Alegría Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you, Verónica. Jensi Alexandra Rodríguez. Present. Right? Yes, it's there. Ok, very good. Ok, más tardecito vuelvo a pasar la lista para poner ahí los que me faltan. En solo un paréntesis, han estado trabajando en la plataforma. Ustedes, según yes. entiendo, todos son nuevos. Ah, oh, no, no. Ya llevan tres módulos, ¿verdad? Sobre tres módulos. Tercer módulo es. Uh -huh. Ah, pues ya saben cómo, cómo es la dinámica de la plataforma. Alguien que no sepa, solo me avisa al WhatsApp y yo lo asisto. Pero sí, la idea, ¿cuántas, cuántas tareas tienen que hacer por semana? Ma, ahorita se supone que teníamos que llegar a las dos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero la, la, la pregunta es, ¿verdad? O sea, es cuando eh, yo, yo, yo revisé el progreso. Sí. Entonces, tengo que tener las dos, las dos columnas primeras llenas. Eh, creo que está bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, sigo llenando. Me imagino que sí se puede, ¿verdad? De poder sí se puede, ¿verdad? Idealmente, lo que podemos ir haciendo para que vayamos como avanzando de acuerdo al ritmo y, y no vayamos yendo como, como o sea, no, no nos vayamos a terminar toda la plataforma de un sol. Entonces podemos hacer, si les parece, les propongo de que ustedes, por ejemplo, en esta semana tienen que hacer dos tareas. Son dos las que tienen que hacer en esta, en esta semana. Dos sesiones. Dos sesiones. Dos. Ok, bueno, entonces... Cada una trae como dos o tres tareas. Cada una. Correcto, correcto. Entonces, digamos la que... La tercera son... es la larga, la, la tercera creo que es un poco larga. Ajá, eso es lo que yo les voy a decir. Por ejemplo, en la primera semana que son dos unidades o dos secciones, es un tanto larga. Cuando sientan ustedes que estamos en una semana que, que para ustedes representa un poco de holgura, porque hacen, completan, y todavía se quedan como que con bastante tiempo como para practicar, me pueden escribir personalmente y decirme, teacher, yo ya terminé mis ejercicios de plataforma, pero me gustaría reforzar tal cosa. Y yo ahí le envío su refuerzo. Y se lo voy revisando y le voy dando feedback, ¿verdad? Para que vayamos, pues, avanzando un poquito más. Acuérdese que realmente este practice makes mastering. Entre más practiquemos, más fácil, más rápido vamos a llegar a la meta. Todos vamos a llegar, pero no vamos a llegar más rápido que otros. Entonces, este, si usted me va diciendo que yo le, 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 le asista, yo lo puedo hacer con mucho gusto. Yo le doy seguimiento personalmente a cada quien. Este, yo puedo ver cuando usted participa en qué lo puedo reforzar. 
pero si usted me busca directamente, es un poquito más personalizado, ¿verdad? Entonces, de hecho, tengo este pensado para otra semana hacerle un par de llamaditas para ver cómo estamos en, en, y cómo yo los puedo reforzar, ¿verdad? A fin de que vayamos nivelados, no se me vayan quedando atrás, ¿verdad? Pero siéntanse con la confianza de buscarme y solicitar mi apoyo y yo con gusto lo hago. Es, es, mi, es mi meta con ustedes. Ok. Now let's continue with the next activity. Let me see. Let me see the next exercise. It's here. And we were talking about the platform and we're going to continue practicing here in the platform. So now let's see. We already did this. What was the question here? We never... No, teacher. No, teacher. Uh -huh. But what was the question here? Do you remember the question? We never... What's the question? No. Whenever no. I have a call... Lo que acabamos de escribir. I Ajá. But give me the complete sentence. Whenever... Whenever I, I have a health... Yes, I take aspirin. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, whenever I have a fever, whenever I have a cough, I take some pills. I take some antacid. Okay, this is the next exercise and this is the conversation. We're going to listen here. So please pay attention. Let's listen. Of syrup. Everyone, in this class, you learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't. Work is the verb and the complement to hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. 
After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and 10 simple ways. 1. Oops, we're going to practice the conversation. Let's listen. And then we're going to practice pronunciation. Use in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation. Let's, li let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Now we're going to practice the conversation. He says, I'm going to read it and then you repeat after me. He says, hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Hello, hello Mr. West. Hello, Mr. West. How, are How are you today? How are you today? Okay. Not so good. Not, Not so good. good. But... So what's wrong exactly? So, so what's what wrong? Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. 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 Why are you so tired? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are you so tired? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, very good. I'm going to give you some pills. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. 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 And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And don't, don't, drink, don't drink, drink coffee or soda. Anything else? Anything, Anything else? else? Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. Yes. yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks. All right. All right. right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Okay. Very good. Now let's see then. Uh, the next activity here in the platform when we finish this. Okay, oops. Wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. It is here. It's the next exercise. Okay, the rhythm. And I brought for you this, this exercise. Okay, we're gonna 
I'm going to show you the next exercise. Sorry. Let me see. I'm going to show you the next exercise. Talking about health problems. It says, uh, at the doctor. At the doctor. It says, this is the vocabulary words about the picture you have to relate the picture with the vocabulary. It says move the words to the correct picture. For example, this one, the headache. What is the headache? It's here, right? Mm -hmm. It's here. Cough. Cough is in the number one. Number one, okay, yes. Number rest, number. rest, picture number four, picture number four, four. very good. It says Sartre, picture number six, picture six. number six, very good. Asbury, number, number two, picture, picture number, number two, number two. Number very two. good. The fluids, fluids. Picture number, number five. five. Picture five. number five. Very good. Okay. Now in here it says click play to listen. You're gonna listen and fill here with the missing words. You listen and select the one that you think it's the correct according to the listening. Okay. And when you can, when you finish that here you're gonna play again and check the answers. For the headache, what could be the, the suggestion for the doctor? Uh, maybe headache um, can be sí. pain, uh -huh, a little C, right? Pain in the head, okay? And so you're gonna play here. This is a, a good board, but I, I am explaining you so that you have clear about what to do. When you are in the group. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Good morning. Good morning. Ah, good morning, good morning. Mrs. Jones. Mm -hmm. Problem. Well, doctor. Seems to be the seems yes. to be the problem. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Uh huh. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems, what to, seems be to be the problem? Problem. Problem. Very good. Well, doctor. I have a sore throat and a bad cough. Aha, uh -huh. I have? I have. I have a sore throat and a bad? Bad throat. Let's see. Seems to be the problem. Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. <laughs> Right? Hold. Hold. Cold. Cold. Cough. Cough. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. A bad cough. This one. The picture number one. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Cold. So now this is the exercise that you're going to complete with your partner. I'm going to share with you the link so that you can complete the exercise. Let me see, give me a second, that this is a listening exercise. I have here the link in the chat. So please get into the link to start the exercise. And I'm gonna organize the groups. Right now we are 20. I am gonna organize group of three. Okay. So remember, si, si entran al grupo y no hay nadie, ahí está ese, ya le mando ayuda. ¿Sí? Ya le mando compañero. No se me vaya a salir, no se me vaya a salir de los grupos hasta que terminemos. Okay, so get into your groups, please. Go ahead. Get into your group to complete the exercise.
Consuelo, Verónica, Mauricio, Lenny, Oscar. Are you here? Any questions so far? Hello. Hello. Hola. Escuchas el audio. Hola, Ibis. Catherine, Jorge, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay. And Catherine, are you here, Catherine? Hola, teacher. Este. Okay. No podía hablar que venía en este en el autobús, pero ahorita ah, okay. voy. Okay, no problem. Okay. 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 So, Jorge, you start working in the exercise and then you continue with Catherine, okay? Okay. Hello, Damaris. Okay, go ahead, continue. Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a... Oh, is it a switch? Sí, I see. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Well, doctor... The problem... I have a sore throat. And a bad cough. <coughs> oh. <coughs> I also have a terrible have terrible headache. Y la tercera, o sí, tercera, ¿cómo? How long have you had these symptoms? Casi no se entendió, ¿verdad? How long have you had these symptoms? These symptoms. About four days. Four. Days now, and I'm feeling real. Really tired, too. Thanks. Nice. Okay. 
It sounds like you've got the flu. No. No. Take two aspirin every four hours. The flu. Take two aspirin every four Aspirin. Four hours. You should also get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluid. No. No. Flu. Take two aspirin every four hours. You should also get lots of rest. Lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. If you you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. Thank you, doctor. You've got the flu. Take two aspirin every four hours. You should also get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. If you don't feel better, Bin. in a couple of days, give me a call. Place. Place. Uh, call. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. ¿Lo escuchamos otra vez para leerlo así de corrido? Sí, por favor. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. What seems to be the problem? Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. <coughs> I also have a terrible headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About four days now, and I'm feeling really tired, too. It sounds like you've got the flu. Take two aspirin every four hours. You should also get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. If you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. Thank you, doctor. y Panamá sí, entre las ahorita. economías más grandes Argentina y Chile verán contracciones económicas este año de menos 2.5 y menos 0.4% respectivamente según no sé si el informe 8 de noche 48 minutos pausa ah, y regresamos a mandarlos aquí al chat Ah, no, pero por eso tenía que estar solo bien. Ah, no, no es que... Ah, oh, sí, dos incorrectas. Entonces, esta era que es bien similar. Era la otra. Ajá, que escuché similar. Y, el otro, this. y este quizás solo era el fil, no don fil. Ya nos quitaron ahí. Ya nos van a regresar. Uh -huh. De esta forma. En la otra no hicimos nada. Solo G2 tengo la 1, la está en la C. La 2 está en la D. El rest fluido dice... No, lo que pasa la es que si Phil tendría la, la penúltima antes de Days, Phil. Es que Phil. Phil y la última es Weeks. La, la última es Tank. 
Tenchi lo que tú. ¿eh? En lo que estábamos contestando, de, de lo que escuchamos, pero de acá no sé, la, la, la Hedash es en. ¿Qué me hace? No me... No, ya estuvo, ya ahorita lo contesté ese. En lo último, Hedash es en la, en la, en la C. En la D. En la C. Ajá. Y la 2 es en la D. La 4 es en la B. La 3 uh es... -huh. Res es en la E. Uh -huh. So, short. So, short. Uh, es en la F. La cinco en la F. La y cinco. en la y aspirina en la A. Vaya. Ay, no sé. Cuesta eso por el teléfono. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, ya estuvo. Uy, la borré. Res es en la E, ¿verdad? Res. Sí, en la E. Fluido es en la B. Ay, no, qué relajo. De... Vaya. Así me quedó. Mm, sí. Ya la toman una captura de pantalla. Okay, now time to come back to the class. So we're going to check your, the exercise that you already finished. Let me see, that was this one. <clears throat> we're gonna check it together, okay? Okay, that was the first part and the listening. We were here. We were here in the cuff. So I'm going to play it here and you are going to tell me the answers. Okay. I also... What did she mention? I also... is have. Okay. I also have... A terrible headache. Okay, uh, headache. Very good. Okay. How? How long? How long? How long? Did you? No. How long have you had? Uh, a this. This. This one or this one? First or second? This. This. Plural, right. no? because this is plural. This. Mm -hmm. About day. Four day. days now. Day now. Day. <clears throat> And I'm feeling. Feeling. Really? really? Tired. 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 Too. Very good. Okay, it sounds like you got the, the flu. 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 Say what? Two? Two. That's all it is. Screen. Every far, four. Hours. 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 No. Okay. Hours. 
Okay, very good. Okay, do so should so, should so, also so. get a lot of rest and drink drink drink, drink. plenty of fluids, fluids right? Drink. Like water, tea, fluids. If okay, here the listening. If you don't feel better, they, they, yes. Give me a call. Give me a call, Mr. Jones. Thanks. Thank you, doctor. Okay. Now we're going to read it together. I'm going to read and you repeat after me, okay? So, good morning, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Jones. Good morning, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones, what seems to be the problem? 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 Just remember, seems. Okay. Sim. 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 Well, doctor, Sim. I have a sore throat and a bad cough. Well, doctor, I have a sore throat and a bad cough. A bad cough. Okay. All, I also have a terrible headache. I also have a terrible headache. Okay. How long have you had these symptoms? How long have you had these symptoms? About four days now. About four days now. 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 And I'm feeling really tired too. And I'm feeling really tired too. Very good. It sounds like you've got the flu. It sounds, it sounds like you've like got the flu. You've got the flu. You've got the flu. You've got the flu. You've got the flu. Yes. Yes. Take two aspirins every four hours. Take two aspirins every four hours. Every four hours. You should also get a lot of rest and drink plenty of fluids. You should also Okay, if you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. If you don't feel better in a couple of days, give me a call. Give me a call. Give me a call. Yes. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Thank you, Doctor. Very good. Thanks, Doctor. Okay, my friends. Okay, so uh, please open your camera. A la one, a la two, open your camera. So just let me see. Fernando de Jesus is here. Fatima Yesenia? No. Carla Susena? Lenin Monterrosa, Mauricio Alberto, Naomi Nicole, Present, eh, Miguel, Mauricio Alberto. Present. Ok, yes, Mauricio Alberto. And Sandra Margarita. No. Okay. Okay, my friends, we're going to stop it here. Uh, please uh, try to practice, for example, this exercise, this listening exercise. You can continue practicing tomorrow, okay? So that you can interact with English every day, any moment that you can. So thank you for being here. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay. Have a good night. Yes, the question, the question, Thanks. tell me. Mañana hay clase. No, the, the schedule is from Monday to Tomorrow. Thursday. Tomorrow, no classes. Okay. We we'll see you on Monday. Okay.
Okay. Soy Amanda. Soy Amanda. Soy Amanda. Amanda, yes. Have a good night. Soy Amanda, yeah, brother. Bye. 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 See you next Monday, teacher. See you next Monday. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Bye, teacher.